Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, Containers Tutorial Part 1, you are going to learn about the fundamentals of containers. I'm going to show you how you can containerize your application. Let's start and follow my steps. Before start, make sure to have installed in your machine Docker, Java 11 or above, and Maven. Let's first create a simple Java application with Quarkus that during the tutorial you're going to containerize it. The application is ready. So let's package it before we move to the next step. To containerize the application, you have to create the Docker file. A Docker file is where you establish the definition used to build a container image. The first command must be the from, where you will inform the base image used to build your image. Then the command add, where you will add the files to your image, the external libraries, and of course, the file jar. At the end, the cmd command, where you will form how to start the application. Now you are ready to build the container image using the docker file. To make sure you have created the image, tap in the terminal Docker Images. Your image is Quarkus app, created a moment ago. With the command docker rmi, you can remove the created image. Let's rebuild the Docker image again. And after, you can use the docker create command to create a container based on this image. To see the created container, use the command docker ps. The list is empty because the container has been created but not yet running. To run the container, just use docker start followed by the name of the container. Now the container is running. You have started the container and with the command docker stop, you can stop it. If you need to delete the container, just use the command docker rm. Instead of creating a container and then starting it, you can use one single command, docker run. In the terminal, you can see the log of your Quarkus application. The terminal is attached to the container process. To exit and stop it, you have to use ctrl plus c. With the parameter minus "-d", you can create the container detached. Now to see the logs of your container, you can use the command docker logs with the name of the container and with the parameter minus "-f", you can follow in the output of the log. The application running inside your container can be accessed through the port 8080. Let's try it. You see this output because you need to explicitly expose the port 8080 used inside your application. You have to use the parameter minus "-p", 8080, 8080, exposing the port 8080 of your container. Let's try it again. Your application now is accessible. Let's move to another topic. First, let's edit the Quarkus application. Inside the container resource class, before the method hello, use the config property annotation to inject the value of the property message. After that, inside the method hello, let's return the content of the image variable or the default value like no message. Before package the application, you have to update the container resource test. Now you are ready to package the application. Then recreate the Docker image, remove the existing container, and at the end, create a new container 
from the new Docker image. If you call the application, you will see the string no message because you didn't create the environmental variable. To create it, you have to edit the Docker file putting the command AMP. Let's rebuild the image, recreate the container and call it again. Now the output is the custom one. There is another way to specify the environmental variables during the creation phase of the container. You have to use the parameter minus "-e", as you can see in the terminal. Thank you for watching this video, subscribe to my channel to be always updated about new videos that I will upload, and see you in the next one, bye!